very excited. I, I can't wait. You know, I see them prancing around and galloping all over here, but you know, I can't wait to see that within the community because you know, when, when the kids and the people actually see that, I think they're going to be very excited and be like, wow. Right now we're planning to relocate some animals to the Woodland Cree First Nation uh, in Northern Alberta. So part of the process here today is just to prepare those animals for that uh, translocation. Over the past century here, uh, Elk Island National Park has translocated up to 3,000 uh, wood bison and plains bison to conservation initiatives around the world. And uh, in providing these animals to these initiatives, um, Parks Canada is contributing to the well-being and restoration of these majestic animals for, for uh, present and for future generations. We're planning for a translocation of 14 animals to the Woodland Cree First Nation. Um, you know, we've worked closely with a number of Indigenous communities over the past years supporting the translocation of these, you know, culturally significant animals back to traditional homelands. And, um, you know, by supporting these translocations, uh, Parks Canada is, is helping to, you know, restore and reconnect um, Indigenous peoples and bison. There's a lot of spiritual significance to all animals within our, in, in our community. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's the way we harvest, it's the way we respect the animal, and uh, it's, it's the ceremonies that come with it. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's just going to be like, 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 like any other animal, but um, um, also uh, uh, significant in itself, you know. When we integrate uh, um, uh, animals within our community, it revitalizes the language, especially, you know, we haven't seen uh, the uh, uh, Sagao Mustos in our, in our territory for about 100 plus years. And we know some of that language has uh, de uh, decreased, but when you integrate uh, certain animals back, it revitalizes the, the culture, the language, and the, and the practices and the traditions within the community. And I, I can't wait to see that um, uh, being instilled in the uh, school curriculum, because I know that we've been working hard to uh, instill the language within the community. And I know that this is uh, going to be a, a big piece to, to help uh, fix that puzzle.